What's poppin' y'all? So we are about to get into a video by Frost Top. This one is 10 band candies that can kill. There is one particular candy that used to scare me, that I used to be scared to eat when I was little and it was always Pop Rocks. It was just something weird about how, like the feeling or the sensation of like when you eat them and like the popping feeling, it just felt so fucking weird to me. And then I had one scary moment when I had, um, I don't know what the hell I was doing. I just know I was playing with my friends and we were just all acting like stupid. And I had put like a bunch of pop rocks in my mouth and um, somebody had said something funny. I was laughing and then I accidentally inhaled. So I kind of like inhaled the pop rocks without like them dissolving in my mouth or chewing them up or whatever. And they got in my throat and they were like popping and tingling and I just had a panic attack. <laughs> I just had a panic attack, like it didn't feel right. I got scared, I thought it was over for me because like that popping sensation does not feel right to me. But I think that was the last time I ever ate Pop Rocks. But yeah, y'all, without further ado, y'all, let's just hop straight into this video. It's health conscious of us have eaten some once or twice in our lives. You might've even had some candy today, but did you know there are candies out there that can kill? I'm trying to stay away from candy. Well, today we're gonna be taking a look at these 10 deadly tasty sweets. And number one is the deadliest of them all. So you're gonna wanna stick around just to find out what that is. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10, Trolley Roadkill Gummy Candy. It looks exactly like what it says on the packaging. Cute little animals in gummy candy form with one thing that makes them unique, tire tracks running through them. These ads yes, are so weird. they literally weird. made gummy candies look like roadkill. The candy featured gummies in the shape of dead snakes, chickens, and squirrels complete again with tire marks. Appetizing, of course. This brilliant product sparked massive controversy and a formal protest was filed against Kraft Foods. The file was what? done by New Jersey Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. The New Jersey SPCA huh. claimed that the roadkill candy sent a wrong message to children that it's okay to harm animals. Yeah, it that's took so particular stupid. particular offense of the advertisement, which featured animated animals fearing for their lives with a pair of headlights rapidly approaching. Kraft was quick to defend their products, saying that their candy was misunderstood and that it wasn't their intention at all to offend anyone. And that only brought them so far, they eventually fell to the pressure and pulled out the roadkill candy in 2005. Number 9. Kinder Eggs Who doesn't love Kinder Eggs? Milk chocolate eggs on the outside with the surprise waiting for you on the inside? Just what's so bad about that? Well, according to the US FDA, a lot of things are wrong with it, and I'll tell you Eat why. The toy. It's actually banned in the United States, and it's not that the United States is something against Kinder. Accidentally Specifically, the they actually banned the sale of all food products containing embedded objects, and some 80 years ago, the Kinder Eggs unfortunately fell into this ban. The rationale for this ban is that the toy inside, which is encased in a capsule, might be swallowed accidentally and become a choking hazard. This makes a lot of sense, since there have been many cases in Europe and all across the globe of kids accidentally choking on one of these capsules, and some of which sadly ended up in fatalities. Ooh. So I do think that the FDA is right about banning this one, but despite the ban, people have still intended to smuggle into the United States. According from an article from the Wall Street Journal as of 2018, the U.S. One. Customs and Border Protection has seized over 160,000 Kinder Eggs. That's a lot, right? From travelers' baggage and from international mail shipments since 2011. Number 8. Toxic Waste It came as a little surprise to many when a candy called Toxic Waste Nuclear Sludge Chew Bars were recalled in 2011 for being a toxic test done by a California Department of Public Health. The California Department of Public Health indicated that many of the bars had elevated levels of lead, which is approximately 24 parts per million more than the double standard of US FDA tolerance of lead. And of course, lead poisoning can be <laughs> fatal, especially in pregnant women and children under the age of 6 years old. As were the culprits, Indianapolis owners, who are still in business by the way, sold the candy but was manufactured in Pakistan, a country notorious for lacking safety and health standards. Luckily, no one reported becoming sick, and the Indianapolis candy owners smartly oh pulled out the God. product themselves. Number 7. The Lonely Pipe Originally meant to be a gag gift that was targeted towards adults, the Lonely Pipe is a pipe that can be used to smoke legal herbs that's entirely made of candy. Pretty weird, right? Originally only available online, the novelty caught on was seen available on store shelves everywhere. And, of course, marijuana smokers loved it, stating that it added to the experiences of smoking weed. Parents, however, really weren't too happy about it at all. The package clearly shows that you need to be 18 or above to purchase it, but let's be real, has it ever stopped any curious kids before? Definitely not. So it really was only a matter of time before kids were able to grab a hold of it. 
Though not deadly in itself, the dilemma here is that you kids might develop the, the wrong though, impression on clearly, pipe smoking and drug use. Clearly, and that's clearly not the type adults. of thing we want to teach our kids. So a decision was made to ban the product in some U.S. states like Indiana, but it's still legal to purchase in others. Number 6. Haribo Sugar-Free Gummy Bears In Ooh. early 2014, Ooh. the world learned just how much of a handful gummy bears can be. That's when the internet caught on to Amazon reviews for Haribo <laughs> sugar-free gummy bears, which revealed the considerable damage that a serving size of these treats could cause. The problem with this candy is that it contained a substance that is not fully digestible and ferments in the gut. If these sugar-free gummy bears were eaten in excess, side effects can include increased flatulence, loose stools, and diarrhea. Not fun at all. According to studies, even just 40 grams of maltitol can cause gastrointestinal responses. That's the equivalent of just 15 gummy bears. I'm sorry, Suffice gummy bears are not that good to, eat 15 gummy to be bears eaten in one sitting. I mean, come on, it's time. easy to eat 50 of these things in one sitting. Due to the media attention, Haribo since discontinued this deadly candy. Number 5. The Hippie Sippy. Hippie Sippy was a Japanese-made candy made in the 1960s during the height of the hippie movement in the United States. Clearly trying to make a boatload of cash while also trying to sound nice and catchy, this product was imported to the US and soon available on candy store shelves within a reach of millions of impressionable kids. Which is a bad thing and I'll explain why. You see, hippie sippy candies look suspiciously like syringes. Obviously a play on the ramping use of recreational drugs at the time. The idea was that kids would suck on tiny multicolored chocolate balls through a thin straw that looks like a needle. Of course, parents were outraged as soon as they saw their kids that mimicking the taking drugs during their seen. snack time and quickly launched complaints and it was promptly removed from the store shelves. If you're curious, today these candies can be bought on eBay for about $100. Number 4. Smarties Now I must clarify that this company isn't like banned these. everywhere in the United States, but rather banned in certain schools in the United States. That leads what? us to the question, but why though? I remember Smarties actually being present in my own candy bag while in school. While yeah. I was trick-or-treating back in the day, I never thought that these things would have the potential of killing me. As it turns out, though, either I didn't have a wild imagination or I was fortunately <laughs> unaware of how drugs were consumed. Kids apparently have discovered a novel way of consuming these sweets. It involves crushing the Smarties into a fine powder and winding up the fine powder on a smooth surface and snorting them up your nose through a rolled-up dollar bill. It's pretty <coughs> ridiculous, and it sounds a lot like the process of another very serious drug. But in all seriousness, it has health risks like any other powder going up your nose. Nigga, you These health candy? risks include asthma attacks, long-term breathing problems, and the occasional rare nasal maggots that are caused. Yeah. Number 3. Lucas Muecas Lucas Muecas is a candy that comes from <laughs> Mexico. It comes in a fine powder and is available in a variety of flavors, including this oh hot chili God. flavor. Now we just got done talking about how Smarties are being banned from schools because of kids having the habit of crushing them up and snorting them. Lucas makes things easier for them by eliminating the crushing part. But it's not the sole reason why this candy is banned in the United States. Lucas Muecas have always been rumored to contain lead, which in high concentration is definitely poisonous. The manufacturers, instead of denying that they were adding lead to their products, stated that they are actually currently phasing lead out of their candies. Even though Lucas Muecas has claimed that they are phasing lead out of their candy, the FDA failed to find any definitive source stating that that is true, and erring on the side of caution is always the best way to go. And among the numerous health effects that lead poisoning can have, it was best to ban this deadly candy for good. Number 2. Chinese Medicine Candy Are you suffering from chronic sadness? Are you unlucky with the opposite sex? Or do you want to live long and happy life without aging? Well, the Chinese has got you covered for just over $1. For just over $1, you'll be able to find a cure for about anything you might have. That is what I'd like to say, but it's too bad because they were banned by the China FDA. For God knows what reason, Chinese candy manufacturers suddenly manufactured and sold candies that look like pills, packaged in a bottle that wouldn't look anything out of place at a pharmacy. And in all fairness, the manufacturers actually never claim that their products actually work. They were even marketed as the perfect April Fool's Day gift. The thing is, the CFDA didn't find it remotely funny. The sweets were banned from the market and the general public was warned to stay away from these sweets. Said the manufacturers of this candy were purposely misleading the customers. Just like with the hippie sippy, this might give children the wrong impression about the proper intake of medicine. The CFDA probably thought that they were preventing children from developing pill addictions such as sleeping pills and painkillers, which are very serious. Or is it just regular old China? Never that fun. Number 1. Candy Cigarettes Ah, who doesn't this love relaxing so with the gold old fashioned sugar smoke? Bro. For the majority of the 20th century, candy cigarettes were readily available, allowing kids to mimic cigarette smoking adults, just like Fred Flintstone. 
Yup, that was an actual thing. Look it up, kiddos. And in 2009, that changed when the FDA banned flavored cigarettes from American shelves. This ban didn't actually apply to the candy itself, but it encouraged many American stores, including Walmart, to take the candy off the shelves. Key factor in Walmart's policy change was a 2007 study published in Preventive Medicine, which showed a statistical link between candy cigarettes and smoking real ones. The case study found that 22% of people who currently smoke have consumed candy cigarettes as a kid. While of those who currently don't smoke, only 14% use candy cigarettes. The study's leader further emphasizes the result by saying the continued existence of these products helps promote smoking as a cultural or socially acceptable activity. Now, I'm not a smoker, but as a kid, I loved these things. While it also <laughs> may be a strange statistic, it can actually be said that these are some of the most dangerous candies of all time. Which banned candies have you had yourself? Let us know in the comment section down below. Wanna isn't there also, too, like, isn't there, like, candy cigars? It's like gum or some shit, and it looks like cigars. It's even, it's even wrapped up in packaging that look like cigars, and I think it's, like, bubble gum or something like that. I don't know, but that whole, like candy cigarette thing was weird as hell like why are you selling candy that looks like cigarettes that's marketed that you're mark you're targeting kids like that makes absolutely no sense to me but yeah y'all that was my reaction to this video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next reaction video